All right, back in black. That's a good album. Because I'm Afro Troid. I get it. We have a we have a very very egg like man interviewing so, Scarlet. I have a question here. What is it? <laughs> um. Shinra just doesn't give a fuck anymore, right? They're trying to maintain the illusion of control. Well, like, isn't it like obvious that the Kate Sith has actually been? Ooh. Sorry about that. That Ooh, noise that, that, you might yeah. have heard there. I was repositioning. There was, there was a terrible accident here. Uh, we don't worry. We made it. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, there. This, Weapon is outside yeah, my house. Yeah, but we're recording. It's for you. It's for the fans. So anyway, isn't it like obvious at this point that Kate Sith is like double agenting for them now? Kind of. I don't. They don't know it's him. Like they don't. They don't know it's the. They don't know. Wait, how do they not know they sent him? No, I mean, Reeve must not be reporting them successfully. He's out there in that room right now, but they don't know that's him. Like, I mean, spoiler warning: the egg-shaped guy is Kate Sith. It's not Doctor Robotnik, like you may have thought. Um, anyway, there was there was a little bit of a little bit of a fucking rivalry between Scarlet and Titties there. I guess she's jealous of her bra titties. size or something <laughs> like. Yeah. Pepper spray. Sleeping gas. Sorry. Oh, it was. Kate oh, Sith the whole okay. Time. So Kate Sith is disguised. Yeah, they don't. They don't know. He's. I guess they don't know he's going back and forth yet, or they just don't care. Cause it, it could be. We've established already that Reeve is kind of just like a push around guy, so they might even just know and not even do anything about it. Just like, okay, Reeve can right. try whatever he wants, it's Reeve. Like, what the fuck is he gonna do? Like, yeah, he's in a wheelchair. Oh, wait, that's Christopher. Oh, he's, wait, he's <laughs> Ooh, super. too soon. He's super. He's dead. Too soon. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> he's super, man. <laughs> Speaking of wheelchairs, that's coming up soon. Yep. <laughs> where Cloud gets the palsy. Uh. So many great scenes. Come on, Afro Troid. Get out of this. <clears throat> These guys do shit for damage, and I don't mean yeah. us, I mean them. This is one of those, like, we're so sorry we had to put you with these two characters you're probably not using. Yep. <clears throat> so we're we gonna go. make them do piss for damage. What level is Afro, Afro Troid? Is he like 22 or 32? I didn't even see. I hope 32. <laughs> I don't think 22 he'd have almost 2k health. <laughs> I love this. Let's just say I'm against capital punishment. Besides, I hate this broad. <laughs> Come on, we gotta help titties. He's 32, okay. Kate Sith just said, I hate this broad. <laughs> yep. In a Scottish accent. For... <laughs> 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 Further cementing my love for the guy. <laughs> Look at all these computers. Yeah. We must be running fucking Windows 3.1 on that shit. Um, we're about to have some of the best cutscenes in the game here. The weapon attack on Junin. It's so great. And he's Let's... not I don't think he's he's not being sarcastic this time. No. I think this is actually cool. We'll give it a shot from our big cannon. <laughs> Rev up the small ones just in case. This is this is one of the coolest things you'll see, and probably one of the most unfortunate times to be caught outside of your house. Like, oh, oh shit, oh. <laughs> like the whole city is just designed to shoot. So that's the big cannon. No, that's that's the big cannon. The big cannon. <laughs> that one right there. <laughs> this was designed during the war. There's a war. The Crimean War. Yeah. <laughs> I think the war in this game was with Wu Tai. If you actually do the Wu Tai side quest, they uh, yeah, it is. They I'm pretty sure that you're they right. were in it. I don't. I don't know. They don't give any more details than that. I don't know if there was anyone allied with Wu Tai, or if it was just them. That was weird. Yeah. Emulation. Yeah, pretty much. You can tell that like weapon. And like this, these like methods of attacking him, and like how like useless they are. It's like heavily inspired by the old Godzilla movies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so quiet. Did we get him? Quit ruining the tension. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Gobblecock. <laughs>
Oh, that's what he says. Did we get him? Seems so. Yeah, we hit that water. Oh, the music <laughs> here. I love this music. Not the alarm. It's about to start. <laughs> I really like sirens. There it is. Everything is just so Godzilla. Yeah. Which I'm fine with. I... One of my favorite things to come out of Japan are the old Godzilla movies. <laughs> yeah. This is an unnamed weapon. This is one that you only you only see in these cutscenes. They're all they're all named after gems. So I think this one has been named by fans as Sapphire Weapon, but I don't I don't think it has a name as far as an official name as far as I know. I mean, what else would it be like the turquoise weapon? <laughs> that could that could work. <laughs> turquoise weapon it is. Can we just call him turquoise? <laughs> turquoise. <laughs> All right. No, urquoise. Urquoise. urquoise silent yes, T. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Following it's the silent T rules. <laughs> and it's spelled <laughs> just like Turk. A Final fa Fantasy Seven. <laughs> I think the Turks, the Urks, have a bad rap. Yeah. You that know. guy just got fucked. I'm I'm actually a pretty big fan of Turks. Like, you know, from Scrubs. Mm-hmm. It should just all it should just be like five five Turks. Like five Turks five, from Scrubs. Just, five five Donald Fiaisons. Yeah, just <laughs> that would be fun. No no Carla's because I hate Carla. No, we don't need a we don't know. That's just a waste of time. What are we doing here? I guess we're talking to This is <laughs> This is a really intimidating scene. Yeah. There's a big buff black dude running out of a room <laughs> where there's a white girl on the floor <laughs> passed out. Shit! Shit. Shit! I think I gotta Shit. go out. Oh fuck, I fucked it again! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, she locks it from inside. Now you can't save the girl! <laughs> I wonder if she's supposed to be based off of, like, the Gone with the Wind girl. Isn't that- is that her name? Gone with the Wind? Scarlet? Yeah. I don't- I haven't seen Gone with the Wind in ages. I never- I don't think I ever saw it. What's he saying? I watched it when I was a kid. Oh, airport's the other way. Ah, sorry. <laughs> How I do the walk. But I want titties as landing strip. <laughs> oh, who doesn't? Oh, these guys actually use magic. Yes, they do. Yeah, you can probably speed it up. <laughs> Roll the dice. Oh, his, uh, his... I forgot his, his limit break is stronger. He has... I want to slow oh, it down. Yeah, now. you should stop that. Oh, well. <laughs> he gets two limit breaks. That's right, Kate. So he only gets dice and slots. And everything else is just not... That's kind of lame since Tifa has slots. Yeah. Although, I know they're different. His has an instant kill opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Which, against Emerald Weapon, is pretty hilarious. That reporter looks very familiar. Does she? Mm-hmm. It's one through nine. Oh! Yeah. You know, that girl. <laughs> that bitch. Yep, whose side quest we skipped, so has it done absolutely nothing in the game. Oh, <laughs> uh, you had her do something. We fought that one oh, boss that, with that her. thing that I didn't even need her for. <laughs> We only got her for the sake of naming her, which yeah. we, we could have done better on, admittedly. Yeah. But, I mean, like, I don't know. All she does when she's in your party is if you do her side Bitch quest. and moan. She steals your materia. Like, all she does is hinder you. Like, <laughs> she's, she's just there to be a popular little... little she's a, she's actually girl. a favorite. Yeah. Among American gamers, because American gamers are sad and lonely. Yeah, like, they just love little little Japanese girls. I guess there is a bit of a story there with like how if you do if you do the uh, the thing the pagoda of the gods I guess it's there's a thing there where she just like is mad at her father for the way he's running Wutai and he can she confronts him on it and he's like oh, oh, okay I'll run it better so you mean she's an angsty yeah teenage yeah, pretty girl much. Like, man that is original that's, that's her contribution to Final Fantasy VII all right we have dude look at Barrett he's like no oh shit. Shit, that weapon glow. Shit. What's Barrett sound like in Advent Children? Hey, Spiky! That's what he says. Like, okay. that's his line. Okay, his only line. No, I mean, that's how he sounds, though. He has cornrows. 
Um, there are two ways I would like to hear Barrett voiced. One is Mr. T, mm-hmm. and the other is T-Pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of all of the mods to make for this game. <laughs> just not, not even for this game, just for the movie. Just auto-tune every yeah. one of Barrett's lines. For the record, she's still in her default weapon. Like the one she starts with. So this is going to be a pre- this is pretty much you fighting these two with, yeah, with Kate Sith, which is good because they're pushing him to limit. Well, that means he's going to die, but you know what? I was never. Opposed. He already died once. Yeah, he failed his fucking comeback. Oh, that's like that's yep, that just happened. Wow. He rolled three sixes. I, so. that, he did that. <laughs> Yeah, this will be the first time like playing uh, playing the most of this game without Barrett in my party. Yeah, I usually end up using him too. Cause, cause like he's the character like you start with, you just get in the habit of having him with you. Oh, that's gonna hurt him. <laughs> get out of that, Kate Sith. You can do it. I meant to just heal him alone, but you know what? Whatever. Whatever. This thing should die soon. Stop attacking my one guy who can attack you. <laughs> stop just, you, Stop applying strategy to your things. Just attack the girl. Just hit him with the hit sword. Hit the girl. Boom. Seriously, punch women. They like it. I bet you feed into that. I am legally obligated to inform you that women are not okay with you punching them. <laughs> oh, they might be. <laughs> just ask them first. Or, you know what, if you walk into her bedroom and she's got, like, chains and whips, you're, you're probably either... You're probably either in for it, or she's asking for it. <laughs> Those are two very different things, James. <laughs> like, well, I mean, okay, listen, listen. You don't know if she wants to give or receive yet, <laughs> so you got to be careful. Make your intentions clear. You know, this is good. We've gone like what twenty-four episodes, and this is the first time we're mentioning bondage. Like, <laughs> we're pretty. Is good. that a record? <laughs> yeah, like that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, let's do this. Speaking fucking, of bitches that are tied up, do this fucking thing to get the key back. Like this is how the fuck would you ever know to do this? What I'm about to do right now? I don't know. Hold on, I think I have to. You have to head and legs at the same time. Look how she bends. Like, <laughs> and then head and head and left arm. Yeah, that, that unlocks it. Then you pull the key out, and then you unlock your right, the other hand, and look at that. But the door's still locked. I'm glad that's what I remembered out of this game. Like, not how to get... That stops the gas. Not the proper way to get through Gaia's Cliff. Not anything about Rocket Town. I remembered the gas chamber minigame. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Open it! You know, the way you said open it reminds me of that, like, really annoying sound cool. that anime girls make. That's what I was going for. <laughs> uh, good! <laughs> well played. I'm secretly an anime girl. I go to the cons. <laughs> Man, that's convenient. This is cool. Just, like, the face forward. He looks like a Transformer, kind of. Oh! That was super effective. Blew his head off. He's done. Now if only all of the other weapons will get within point-blank range of Junior's big cannon. Can we just carry it? Attach that to Barrett. Just (laughs) have him drag that. Hold on. (laughs) And now we are going to... We're gonna climb out of here. Climb out the gash. Yep. This is pretty funny, actually, if you watch. I don't, come... I don't want them to catch me, but I want to see this, what she does to him. Here comes Scarlet. Oh, that Joe one. Hansen. That one. That ah. dude just falls. <laughs> that dude's gone. Oh, man, we're, we're making fun of some guy that just died. He had a yep. family. He did. And he was trying to support them by, by the minimum wage through the military. It's the only way he knew how. He didn't yeah. have any skills. And it's not like he really had a choice, like... He was drafted. Oh no! You're supposed to fall. It's I know. <laughs> Somehow Too she survived barrel. that. Cause she's fucking. Titties. I was hoping that she was gonna fall into she the water. She bounces no matter what. <laughs> I was hoping she was gonna fall in the water so I can make a joke about her tits acting as lifesavers. 
Oh, they do later. No, it's not a water thing, but they pretty much hold her on a ledge at one point. <laughs> it's pretty funny to watch. I mean, her tits are the same polygon oh, yeah, as her the hands. Sister, eh? It's funny because it says that there, and later on they name a weapon the Sister Ray. It's like, that's so unoriginal. <laughs> you know, I mean, you have to, yeah, there we go. Why, why is this her idea? This is the biggest cannon I've ever seen. Like you, this is hot, by the way. This thing must be burning the shit out of oh, her Oh, I feet. thought you were making, like, some kind of perverse, like, no. sexual innuendo about oh, it being phallic this, shit. This, this is, oh, no. This is, this is about to get hot right here. We're about to have a Lego slap match here. <laughs> oh, God, bitch fight. Yep. I don't know why they did this. Like, why... <laughs> yep. yep. Like, like, I guess, I guess you're supposed to hate Scarlet and just love titties at this point, to where this is satisfying. Like, you know, Scarlet's slapping the titties right now. Yeah, she is. <laughs> oh, I win. Look at that. I don't know why you didn't just punch her. All you've been doing this entire game is punching people. Yeah, you have like fists of fury. Yeah, like you, you were trained by Zangief. You can literally punch someone into space, like. You, uh, yeah, that's her final limit break, isn't it? I don't remember, actually. It's called Final Heaven, I know that. <laughs> I like this music. Yep. This is this is the high wind theme. I don't know if this is Sid's theme or not. I don't know if it's this or that music that we heard on the... No, bitch, grab this rope! No, this, this is, is silly. The... Wow! Yeah. Weapon just... Meow. <laughs> this comes back. I've always wanted to eat some titties. <laughs> God, there's just so many things that could cut her. Like... Yeah, well, thank God they don't. And we now have the airship, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. It is a day of rejoice! Hooray! We shot a weapon, escaped the gas chamber, and got a flying ship. They're becoming less and less boats as these games progress. Like in 6, they were... In 6, wasn't it still a boat? With like a blimp attached to it? Maybe it wasn't. Oh my god, I can't... Because there's the... The... I don't even remember what the ships are called. I know that in 8, it's not a... It's a, it's a fucking like no. spaceship. It's the Ragnarok. Yeah, it looks like a dragon. Um, um, looks like kind of like a Bahamut type track cockpit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he tells you how to do that. It's gonna be funny when we start frame skipping in the. <laughs> Thought titties was gone for good. I couldn't imagine a world without titties. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? What would I look at? <laughs> what would I do? <laughs> Who would I talk to? <laughs> what good would women be? Uh, oh, sexist Afro Troy is sexist. <laughs> What's really funny is like they can't accuse us of being sexist because we hate the weak woman character. Yeah, I know, right? Like, and, we, and we, 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 we spend like five minutes talking about like I really hate gender stereotypes in these games and wish that a strong female role would really become more prominent. And then we're just like titties and slapping <laughs> <laughs> because we're mocking him. <laughs> The world will never take us seriously, James. I thought I thought that this scene was fairly not enough crew. I that's really sad. Like he just pulled us. Like just say thank you. Not where's Dick Butt? <laughs> like, well, it takes all kinds. Everyone's in their little spots. Vincent's over there. He's in, uh, he levels up as you progress, which is pretty. There's a part where he gets a limit break. But you have to talk to him during the right time of the game, and I've never been able to do it. I only did it once. I've never been able to do it, but I did it once. No, I mean, like, ever since the first time. I could make a sex joke right now. No. Um, where do I go? I forgot. I'm a deal. No, I need to. I need to talk to someone. I think you before. go to the operation room. Oh, that's right. That's what. That's what they told me to do. This is where they play that really crappy board game. Reading the dialogue. Is a board game. Sorry, go. Sc oh, I you, just you, did that. <laughs> you never talked to him directly after you got control. I don't think. You ran in and there was a cutscene. And then I talked to him and he said it takes all kinds. I promise you, I talked to him. Now he's over here. Yeah, now well, he's I still. Guess... 
Do you think we're enough without dick butt? Okay, we have some stuff going here. Sid's just running back and- Get a hold of your titties! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grasp. Dick butt would stand that cocky little way. Oh, penises. Penises are funny. I'm sorry, Afro-Troid. The no reason why we all thought it was dick butt is because... Hmm. So glad you're alright, titties. <laughs> Like he cares. Cheer up, Dave. <laughs> Thank you, Sid. Yeah. Sid is like just giving you relevant observations. He's like Sid Highwind is like me and me in the yeah. Final Fantasy story. It's like you, like... you do, you do want what's right, but the, you're gonna make fun of it the entire time and just comment on it, and you're not afraid to do that. <laughs> Yeah, so he's underground, talking about the live stream. Sometimes it gushes to the surface, and that's where... <laughs> and gets all over the tits. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe dick butts. Captain Sid! I gotta show this moron how to land the ship. Go to your room and get ready for operation. My room? I don't have a room. The chocobo has... The fucking bird has a room, but I don't. <laughs> Yeah, there's a chocobo stable for when you breed chocobos, which we're not gonna do. Right. Um, now can I? Yeah, okay. I can make a. How do we want to do this? I guess Just she's use gonna the party. replace Cloud. Um, it sucks we're gonna lose her later. It's fine. Cloud is so over leveled right now. That uh, he'll he'll be kept up with. And I'm sure it'll level him with us if for some reason we pass him. I never understood why you can use the R and L buttons to like direct your character in this game. It just we gotta do something with those buttons. Huh. Saying no when you're ready to go full speed. We're going. All right. <clears throat> I love just this world. These worlds are already really small, but all the airship teaches you is just how small they are. Yep. Oh, this and is not as fast as I remember. You know what is as fast as you remember? That. Whee! So we need to go to Medeal now, right? Yep. I think if you go back to Bugenhagen, he tells you to go here. Um, there's Fort Condor, which we haven't been to yet. That's gonna suck. That minigame's gonna suck, by the way. Oh, that's um, like the RTS minigame, isn't yep. it? Yep. Here's a Materia Cave. I'm not gonna do it, because I don't know how. But if you do it right, you can glitch it and land the high wind right outside of it and just get quad magic. But, yeah, that's not something we're gonna play with right now. We're um, on a time limit. Where are you, Medeal? Is that it? That is it. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll turn your frame skip off. You can't you. land in forests. I, I can't see my shadow is the problem. There it is. Yeah, you can only land on green stuff. Grass. And right outside the ancient city for some reason. Is this where we see Cloud in the... Yup. In the sphere chair? Aren't you a beaut? Yeah. But first we're going shopping, because we're... We, we have like a whole crazy chocobo deal. guy. He's convinced that it's the end of the world and he is flipping a shit right now. I mean, to be fair... Yeah, I mean, there is a giant... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is surprisingly calm about what's going this on This isn't right a now. chicken little situation. Uh, the world is probably gonna end. Yeah, like... <laughs> let's be honest here, our lives are over. <laughs> God, eithers are so expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get, like, ten of those, because... Thank you. Come again. Do you want to pause it for a bit while I'm shopping, or do you want to just end the video here? Uh, yeah, let's just end the video here. We'll pick up, um, we'll pick up after he's done shopping, and we go see Cloud in the mental health facility. Mm-hmm. Because he's, like, shaking and shivering. 